Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of the Game Feed. My name is Panther6, and you might notice a few things if you've been by the channel. Mainly a new banner, a new name, still going by Panther6, but the channel will now be called Outright Gaming. And the um, reason for this is because uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, feedback from you guys, and um, you guys really like seem to like my honesty, and that's what I'm trying to do. And um, I'm hoping to continue that by giving you guys, you know, my honest opinion on everything. And I don't want to beat around the bush, but um, that's what I'm aiming for. So if you guys like that name, let me know in the comments below. But today, we're going to talk about Xbox One and the future of Microsoft's gaming division. And if you guys have been keeping an eye, uh, Gamescom, uh, Microsoft had a pretty good showing, as well as E3 this year. And... Um, they had a really rough start at the beginning, uh, even when the original Xbox came out. But uh, we're going to focus mainly on the Xbox One. And a lot of you guys already know the story about what happened, um, why the Xbox hasn't sold nearly as well as the PlayStation 4, and um, just some problems out the gate with uh, the old Xbox team with Don Matrick. But um, Phil Spencer's took over since then, and uh, things have got better. He's... Um, giving the gamers what they want and that's games uh, the features we want backwards compatibility and a bright future and this year alone has been really great for the Xbox if, if you've been paying attention to just news coverage um, you know all the conferences uh, pretty much anything that's come out has been really positive um, but still, it's a little bit behind in terms of sales compared to the PS4, but that may remain like that until the end of the generation, just due to the fact that a lot of people still have that bad taste in their mouth from the original Vision, which, in my opinion, I thought the original Vision of the Xbox One was amazing. Um, and to give proof of that was the uh, Crackdown demo they shown off uh, at Gamescom with the cloud... Uh, cloud engine in use so we finally got to see the power of the cloud and um i'm i'm a really big fan of the original crackdown and it got me super excited and just to see the, the destruction that you're able to do that's really not even been seen on pc uh consoles or anything before um they said you know the cloud helps compute that stuff and a lot of developers uh, hopped on, and they're pretty excited about it. I've seen Naughty Dog, Bioware, and a few others. They was talking about it um, via tweeting and everything, and they thought, you know, that's actually pretty damn cool. Um, but the implications is, is it's always online. You're not going to have that same destructibility, say, if you're playing Crackdown single player, which I kind of hope that if they do um, the single player based Crackdown, but they can have an online component on there so when you're playing you're always connected and if you want to you know do like I don't know Watch Dogs had this um, where you would be playing the game and somebody would if you're online somebody would be getting to your game and try to hack you but I kinda hope they do that with Crackdown but um, that's uh, a lot of people have been saying well, well what happens if you get kicked offline how's that gonna work and Basically, it's going to happen the same way anything else would work. If you're playing Call of Duty online or Halo, if you go offline, you can't play the game. Um, but you can still play the single-player component, from what I've heard. Uh, don't, um, you know, don't quote me on that. Um, you know, I was reading some things from uh, Kotaku, uh, Reddit, and everything, so... It's pointing that way, and I would assume you'd be able to play the game single player as well offline. But don't quote me on that. But um, it's it's I, I'm pretty. I think Microsoft they're 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 turning themselves around. Um, they have a really nice console. Uh, has all the features I want in a console. Backwards compatibility. I really like the Connect. A lot of people hate to connect, but I can't imagine the Xbox One without the Connect. Because I like to go come home, sit down on my couch, and be like, Xbox, on. And it just came on. <laughs> but usually it's not that responsive. That's the only bad thing about it. It works when it wants to work. And it worked that time. So, But, um, you know, it's the technology is there. Um, it, it clearly needs some uh, updates. But 
Um, I'm pretty sure, I think the Xbox One is ahead of the game in terms of just the sheer amount of things you can do. And I think Microsoft's on the right track. So um, Windows 10 just came out, and I've been able to stream uh, Xbox One games to my PC. Uh, I could do that with my Surface as well. And I did have a Windows phone, but I traded that a while back. Um, <laughs> and I got, the, uh, I got the Node Edge now, so I don't know if they'll be able to do that with that. I doubt it. But... Um, no, I really think Microsoft's on really, really good tr on a good track. They have the games. Uh, they've shown us um, a bunch of new games that's coming out next year. We've seen all the big games that's coming out this year, E3, um, and Microsoft's really playing hard. They're 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 playing catch up at this point, and they're doing really good good job. They're not behind. They're not like, say, the Wii U. The Wii U has suffered themselves since the beginning, just due to the fact that nobody knew what the hell it was when it came out, and still a lot of people don't. They think that the Wii U is just an attachment to the Wii. And it's it's just great to see, you know, all the positive feedback we're getting from, you know, just, you know, Twitter, people on Twitter's, you know, talking about it's trending, uh, Reddit. Uh, from the beginning, the Xbox One, it, it was like, people's like, nah, I don't want that. It's it's the devil. Um, and, and I've seen that. I promise you I've seen that. I was at GameStop one day. Uh, this was... This was right after it launched. They didn't say it was the devil, but uh, no, I'm not going to buy the Xbox One. And this was after the always online thing was dropped off. So this was a few months after the fact. But they're like, no, I will never buy an Xbox One. It's a uh, spy box. It's NSA box. And, you know, all these people had, had that great fear of that, which is really stupid in my opinion. But, you know, I'm not calling you stupid if you believe that, but don't believe that. That's, that's stupid. I mean, if they're going to do it to one console, they're going to do it to all consoles that have internet connections. And I'm not trying to <laughs> stir up the uh, conspiracy pot there. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoy the Xbox. I've had all of them so far, uh, but I play all the systems. I'm not being completely biased, but um, I do favor the Xbox to all my systems because... I've always done that um, since the original Xbox came out. So that may make me a little bit of a fanboy, but I'm not going to choose sides in the war. But I hope you guys, um, at least if you're on the fence for the Xbox One and you're wondering if you should buy one now, it's the perfect time to jump in. Um, it's perfect to do so now. You've got the games coming out. Uh, you've got the backwards compatibility you want, which if you're in a preview, I'm in a preview uh, program right now where I can do that. And um, it's, it's just great. I, so if you're on the fence, um, just just look at some of the past uh, conferences this year, E3, uh, Gamescom, and you'll definitely enjoy it. Um, now, I am going to have, uh, I missed out this weekend uh, putting up the Goblin Traders episode. I think we're on episode five, maybe four. Uh, I got all that stuff ready. I just got to edit that together. So it's going to be pretty nice. And I also have, um, going to have Let's Talk. That's going to be Thursday, hopefully. Um, now, I'll go ahead and touch a little bit base on what's been going on here for the last couple of days. Uh, my fiance, she's currently in the hospital. Um, she had surgery, uh, a, breast a breast reduction, so uh, everything went well. She is just really, really sore right now, hurting really bad, and she's just, you know, taking a lot of a lot of medicine. And um, I'm getting ready to head back over to the hospital with her because I spent the night there, and I probably got two hours of sleep and two hours of sleep the other day. So I'm, in two days, I'm working on maybe five, six hours of sleep. But, um... Yeah, I'll talk a little bit more of that on uh, Thursday on Let's Talk. And um, also, if you've been wondering what's been going on in my Twitch channel, um, I have not streamed in a long time. But um, over the weekend, um, on Thursday, I was on uh, the Goblin Traders stream, uh, helping them out. So um, if, if you go to my channel right now, you'll see that I'm hosting them right now. Um because right now I've been trying to revamp a lot of things. I've been sick. You guys know that. And I just wanted to concentrate a lot on the YouTube stuff. But I'm going to try my best to get some streams here and there. And I'll let you guys know. Anytime I'm going to stream, uh, what I'll do, I'll go ahead and let you guys know that. 
uh, in advance so you guys can come hang out with me. But you can always also see me too from time to time over the Goblin Traders. Um, I'll be commentating and just hanging out with those guys. Uh, and I hope you guys uh, give them a follow because they're great. Uh, I do their unboxings and um, do their card shop life. So it'd be definitely, definitely great to be a part of that. And I hope you guys uh, check them out. But thank you for stopping by. Um, and let me talk to you about Xbox for a little while instead of anything else. And I hope you guys, you know, like my opinion. And be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I love you guys and thank you so much for the awesome support. And be sure to hit subscribe again. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. You take it easy. And I got my tongue tied. Yeah. <laughs>